Don't skip. Hold on to your hats because tonight, something epic is brewing just for you. Imagine this, a surprise that's about to land right in your lap, and trust me, it's going to be mind-blowing. Get ready for an evening filled with anticipation, because someone's gearing up to give you a gift that'll leave you speechless. Stay tuned for the big reveal. This is one surprise you won't want to miss. This isn't just a video. It's a call that demands your immediate attention. The secrets unveiled here hold the power to elevate your life and your loved one. Do not deny yourself this chance. The choice is clear watch now and seize the opportunity before the profound truths slip through your fingers. Your destiny is calling and the time to answer is now. But before that, you've committed a grave mistake marked by the disapproval of the Lord. Pay close attention to this warning and divine suggestion before plunging into crucial matters. If you clicked on this video today, your guardian angels have a very particular message for you. As I stand before you, the ethereal presence envelopes you in a warmth that words cannot fully capture. Close your eyes for a moment and feel the gentle embrace of the divine energy that surrounds you, for something magical is about to unfold in your life. Dear soul, tonight holds a secret, a surprise orchestrated by the universe itself. The celestial beings are buzzing with excitement, their whispers echoing in the cosmos, as they prepare to unveil a moment that has been woven into the fabric of your destiny. Can you sense it? Can you feel the anticipation building up within your very being? As I gaze into the celestial realms, I see a tapestry of stardust and cosmic threads converging to create a masterpiece that is uniquely yours. The universe, in its infinite wisdom, has conspired to bring forth a surprise that will leave you awestruck, filling your heart with joy and your spirit with a sense of divine wonder. Tonight, dear one, someone in the realm of mortals is aligning the stars for you. The energy of love and kindness is being channeled into a gesture that transcends the boundaries of the ordinary. Picture it in your mind's eye, the meticulous planning, the anticipation, the sheer joy that awaits you as the universe orchestrates this beautiful surprise. Your guardian angels, with their radiant wings and benevolent smiles, are working tirelessly to ensure that every detail of this celestial surprise unfolds seamlessly. They are the cosmic architects, the orchestrators of serendipity, weaving together the threads of fate to create a moment that will etch itself into the tapestry of your existence. As the hours pass and the moon rises, know that the celestial symphony is reaching its crescendo. The angels are aligning the stars, and the universe is conspiring to make this surprise a reality. Can you feel the energy building, the anticipation mounting? It is as if the very cosmos is holding its breath, waiting for the grand reveal. Close your eyes again, dear one, and let the energy of the divine wash over you. Breathe in the essence of this moment, for tonight is not just an ordinary night, it is a night when the universe bestows upon you a gift, a token of its infinite love and boundless possibilities. In the celestial realms, the angels are sending forth beams of radiant light, guiding the hands of those who are part of this grand plan. Your surprise is being carefully crafted with love and intention, and the universe is infusing it with the magic that only cosmic forces can provide. As you go about your day, there may be subtle signs, a gentle breeze, a fleeting rainbow, or a serendipitous encounter, all nudges from the universe, signaling that something extraordinary is on the horizon. Pay attention to these whispers, for they are the breadcrumbs leading you to the moment that awaits you tonight. And when the time comes, when the clock strikes the hour of revelation, let yourself be swept away by the magic of the universe. Open your heart to the beauty of the surprise, and let the energy of gratitude fill every fiber of your being. Your guardian angels will be there, their celestial wings fluttering in celebration, as the cosmic dance of destiny unfolds before your eyes. This surprise, dear one, is not just a mere event in time, it is a testament to the love that the universe holds for you. 
It is a reminder that you are intricately connected to the cosmic tapestry, and every thread of your existence is woven with purpose and divine intention. As you embark on this journey of surprise, know that the angels are walking beside you, their celestial light illuminating your path. This is a moment of joy, of celebration, and of profound connection to the energies that guide and protect you. In the comments section, share your thoughts and feelings as you absorb this divine message. How does the anticipation of tonight's surprise make you feel? What signs have you noticed in the universe, hinting at the magic that is about to unfold? Your fellow souls are here to support and share in the collective energy of this celestial event. Let the comments be a space of shared excitement, a virtual gathering of souls who are bound by the anticipation of a surprise orchestrated by the universe itself. Your words, dear one, become part of the cosmic symphony, echoing through the ethers and contributing to the collective joy that permeates the very fabric of existence. As you engage with your fellow seekers, remember that the universe works in mysterious ways, and the connections forged in this virtual space are no exception. Your shared experiences, reflections, and expressions of gratitude amplify the energy of the surprise, creating a ripple effect that resonates far beyond the confines of this digital realm. So, dear soul, embrace the magic of this moment, bask in the anticipation, and let the celestial surprise unfold with grace and beauty. Your guardian angels are smiling upon you, and the universe is conspiring to make tonight a memory etched in the stars. May the surprise fill your heart with joy, your spirit with wonder, and your soul with the knowing that you are a cherished and beloved part of the cosmic dance of life. I declare this will be a week of congratulations, financial breakthroughs, and great health. Subscribe to our channel if you love God. God is saying to you today, great blessings are about to enter into your life because you have believed for so long. You never gave up, you remained faithful. Your dedication, passion, and patience are about to pay off in a major way. Everything is about to make sense. Type 777 if you already believe. The next three days will bring a flood of blessings, miracles, and breakthroughs that will leave you awestruck. You will witness a supernatural shift in every aspect of your life, from your job and finances to your health and relationships. Expect unexpected blessings and an outpouring of love and abundance of everything good. December and January are your months of happiness, and you can expect to receive magnificent miracles, unexpected blessings, and a double dose of joy and happiness. Type 222 if you believe. Jesus says, I have opened a door for you that no one can shut, and nothing can stop the divine plan that has been set in motion for your life. In a world that can be tough, God is your refuge and strength, a present help in times of trouble. Before this week comes to an end, your life will be overflowing with so many blessings that all your worries will disappear. The Lord is sending people, resources, and finances your way that you never thought possible, and He has assigned angels to protect and guide you and your loved ones. Type 333 if you trust angels. Without faith, it is impossible to please God, and those who seek Him will be rewarded. The Lord is transforming your life right now, turning your sorrows into joy and your poverty into wealth. You can trust Him in your trials and tribulations. Jesus is the bread of life, and whoever comes to Him will never go hungry. He is the light that shines in the darkness, and if you are weary and burdened, He will give you rest. Come to Him and experience the peace and joy that only He can provide. Type 555 if you trust Jesus. Dear God, thank you for bringing us to the month of December. I ask that you keep our family and loved ones safe this month. Watch over us and cover us with your divine protection. Shower us with good health, blessings, and strength. 
Remove any worry, fear, stress, and doubt from our hearts. When difficult times come, help us to trust you with all of our hearts and not lean on our own understanding. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer and blessing us. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Amen. I want to end with a prayer for you, Lord, we seek your guidance and blessings as we navigate this path of love and understanding. As we patiently await the divine alignment of hearts, we ask for strength, patience, and the wisdom to recognize the unfolding of this beautiful story. May the realization of love be gentle and profound, touching the deepest parts of our beings. And may the bonds formed be resilient and enduring. As we anticipate the end of this year when expressions of love will be openly shared, we ask for your divine protection and guidance, trusting that all will unfold as it is meant to be. Thank you for your constant presence and support on this journey towards love. Amen. Type 444 to claim this message and the blessings inside for your own. An important message is waiting for you in the next video, where you'll hear it. My child, stop for a second and answer me. Why are you fighting me for controlling your life right now? Like others, there's an area or two at least, where you're still fighting me. With God. For control. It may be that I'm calling you to let go of something. Maybe it's something bad. Maybe there's a sin in your life that I'm calling you to let go. Maybe it's something good that you're holding on to. And I'm saying, I've got something better for you. But you're going to have to trust me. You're going to have to let me rule. And you're fighting me for control. So, when you have those places in your life where you're fighting me for control, you have to learn to let go and trust me. And this is the faith that freedom comes through surrender. Victory comes through submission. It's all backward. It's different than what the world tells you. A man in order to catch a baboon went to a termite mound. He discovers their hardness. The man drills a hole and places a small silver trinket inside. The curious baboon, witnessing the process, descends the tree, inserts its hand and grabs the trinket but can't retract its fist. The man seizes the opportunity, approaches the frantic baboon and, despite its wild reactions, all it needs to do to escape is let go. The man then secures the baboon with a noose and takes it into captivity. I wonder, don't you think Satan wants to take some of you, or all of you, to captivity using the thing that you're afraid to let go? You think he doesn't want to keep you a slave to sin? It's time to give it up. All you've to do is let it go. Let go of the way you thought it was supposed to go. Let go. Sometimes, it is a letting go that feels like death, but it's really a blessing, the blessing of letting go. What is it that you're trying to control that I want you to surrender? I can do way more through your surrender than you can ever do through your control. I can do way more. That which is on your heart is always better in my hand. You don't always have the power to control, but you do always have the power to surrender. And I promise you, I can do way more through your surrender than you can ever do through your control. Surrender means not your way, but my way. You wonder what I would call you to surrender today. I've already speaking to you and calling you to surrender something to you. And it's time to say, Father, not my way, but your way. I surrender this to you. I'm going to be real and open and honest about my struggle. And I'm going to get through it with you. I'm not going to try to do it on my own anymore. Will you let me be God? Will you let me be your divine father? But you've got to learn how to lose control. Honestly, it will come after realizing that I've got a God who is awesome who's mighty, who's powerful, who's great, who is indescribable, knowing that I have him being in control versus me having stuff in my hands and trying to control it. Because in my hands, I guarantee I mess it up. But in his hands, it's going to be all right. Just trust me and let it be what's going to be. Then you could reflect on the fact that, hey, if God be for me, then who in the world can be against me? And even though things don't look like how you want them to look, and even though you don't feel how up want to feel, and even though you don't got the most money in the bank, here's what you must going to do. 
I must still remain faithful and obedient. Because I know I can sit back, trust God, because if this is where he has me, then there must be something for me. One of the lessons that you must learn was how to sit and trust. Sit and trust. People will let you down. Companies will fail. The government won't keep its promises. But I will never let you down. I will never fail. No matter what you are going through or what you do go through, place your trust in me. When you are in the middle of unimaginable circumstances and it feels like all hope is lost, trust in me. Cling to my word. Look at my track record. What I've done before, I can do again. I was faithful then and I'm faithful now. If you want to follow me, if you're going to completely surrender to me, it requires saying I'm and will give you everything, all of it. Jesus, I surrender my life to you. I give you all that I have and all I am. I trust you. I want you to think of that, your biggest problem right now. You know, the thing that wakes you up in the middle of the night, the thing you wake up stressed about in the morning, the thing that you're biting your nails for, that you're constantly anxious about that big problem that you don't see a solution for. You've got that picture in your mind right now. Okay, now what I want you to do is come into that position of surrender, where you're raising your hands and you're closing your eyes, raise your hands like this, I surrender. And then I want you, in your mind's eye, to picture yourself walking up to the cross and laying that big problem down at the foot of the cross. Here comes the message Father is talking about, and after that, a prayer and some divine wisdom to save yourself from any unforeseen event. My beloved child, you will overcome, and all will witness that I am with you. Your blessing is on its way, and nothing shall hinder it. Soon you shall receive the answer you seek, your needs shall be met, and your health restored. The one you love will return to your life. I'm telling you this to fill you with courage. Let your joy begin today, for people and loved ones will come seeking you. I want them to see your joyful and rejuvenated face. Let your smile impact them, and let them witness the wonderful blessing I'm about to bestow upon you. My word has been given, and abundance is declared. I do not lie, and what I promise, I shall fulfill without fail. Always remember this to keep anxiety and worry at bay. I myself will put an end to your suffering, for your time has come. Days of happiness and delightful moments are on the horizon, and you must cherish them. Do not fear, my child. Do not cry and do not despair. Believe in me, for I am the God speaking to you today. Believe it with all your soul, for I hear your pleas. Feel the beat of your humble heart, and your prayers resonate in my throne. The gates of my grace open for you, and I shall pour my blessings and favor upon you. My presence dwells with those of simple faith, with those of humble hearts, and with all who sincerely and earnestly invoke my name. Always remember that you can trust in my power and my faithfulness. I will never forsake you, nor will I forget you as the years pass. When enemies and troubles assail you, or when you feel weak, needy and unwell, I am with you at all times. I repeat this to you always so that you do not forget. I long for you to seek me every day, to remember my words, for I have the power to deliver you. When I say it every day, it is because I will truly do it, and I want you to have faith, to go to sleep in peace, and to wake up in the morning with a joyful spirit, and the confidence that my promise is unbreakable. I do not lie, I love you, and I will always bless you. So it was, so it is, and so it shall be. Tell me now that you believe. I want to see in your words, your strength and happiness. You are on the verge of receiving that long-awaited blessing, and that's why the enemy has come with all their fury, trying to pull you away from my side. If things are not going as you expected, it's not a reason to become angry and throw in the towel. 
Today, I understand how you feel. Look at me, and we will sort things out. Do not distance yourself from me. Do not hide. How could you ever think that I am not real? Where did you get the idea that I cannot love you? Why do you underestimate yourself so much? No trial or difficulty in your life escapes my notice today. I am not pacing before the throne, wondering what I will do with you or how to bring you through. You really are not that great a challenge, says the father. You didn't actually think I would be intimidated or daunted by the mountains standing in your way, did you? I am the God of the universe, and I live inside you. Do not allow the enemy to make you think or lead you to believe that what you are enduring is somehow unique or in some way worse than what any other person may be facing. That is self-pity and self-absorption, seeking to get your eyes off of my faithfulness. In my earth walk, I endured and was touched by what you are feeling right now. I suffered and I did not sin, so that you could withstand likewise and remain in obedience to the heavenly vision of all that I have promised. Look in expectation to what I am about to do on your behalf. I always come through on time and on target to address what pains you most and hold you captive. I am releasing you from your captivity this day. This is heaven come to earth time for you today. This is the hour that changes the world and the hour that changes your world. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and dance in advance. Go ahead and rejoice. I will be found faithful in your life. You will look back and see and look back and declare what else could have possibly gone right. This is not fantasy. This is not an incredulous, unlikely possibility. This is the rock-solid affirmation of my word and my promise that endures forever and puts you over in every circumstance. You are not a victim. You are a principality and a power, wearing this day the very crown that you will one day lay at my feet in triumph. You've made me weep with your thoughts. I also have a heart that feels. Indeed, I love you. I don't want you to ever leave my side. When you were sunk in depression and despair, when you thought your final day had come, it wasn't you who sought me first. I came to where you were and took you in my arms with so much affection. Cleanse your soul and your heart, for I have forgiven all your faults. I comforted you, healed you, and stood you up. You walked once more, you were reborn. Pay attention now, for at this moment, you will understand that my promise is firm, unbreakable. No one can snatch you from my hand. My love is eternal. If you are filled with doubts, it's because you're believing in someone else. But look, let's forget about that. Come into my arms now. You're making me cry too. You move me so much when I see you running towards me. Life is like this. Struggles will come, doubts may persist, but they are like birds circling your head. And if you're not careful, they will enter and build nests in your mind, filling your thoughts with confusion, disconnecting you from my love, making you forget the beautiful moments you've experienced by my side, causing you to focus only on the hardships you faced. Do not allow these thoughts to enter. Reject the ideas of death that the enemy wants to plant. Let me remove those doubts from your mind. You will come out of the sadness you feel right now. I am writing my name on your heart, so you will never forget or doubt that all my love is yours. I will not fail you. I give you my word. Even if the world turns against you and you look everywhere without finding a helping hand, no matter what happens, I will stay by your side. I will protect your family. I will protect you and the blessings and gifts I have sent you. But tell me now, 
What will you do on your part? Will you trust and hold fast to my word, regardless of what you see or feel? I assure you, and I repeat, I will not fail you. I declare this solemnly, my promises are not in vain. So walk hand in hand with me, with a tranquil heart, in peace and confidence. My covenant with you will be forever unbreakable. I know that the busyness of life sometimes leads you to set me aside. That's why I ask you that, when the silence comes and the noise fades, and you find yourself free and available to talk with me, a minute in my presence is better than a thousand hours in this world of pain. Come, for I will be there to listen to your prayers. Remember, you can find the peace your spirit longs for through your beautiful and tender faith in my word. You already know that if I say it, I will do it. If it is written, my promises are more solid and powerful than anything else in this world. You love me. You give me your heart, you feed on my word, and you believe with all your soul. I am pleased with your attitude and your dedication. There I will reward you. I am giving you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions, upon burning coals, and any path filled with thorns of pain. You have the gift to shut the mouths of lions and to stop the destroyer's devastation. You do not need much noise or exaggerated shouting for my power to manifest. Your simple faith, your grateful soul, your obedient attitude, and your brave warrior's gaze are sufficient. The enemy is not frightened when people raise their voices and declare my word, but they do it without faith. They speak and shout, claim to love me, but of their gatherings, they point fingers, judge and criticize, and thus no miracle can I perform. I have chosen to use you and work miracles through your lips and your hands. Let nothing deter you, do not cower in the face of any obstacle. In my love and power you will leap over walls and overcome the evil armies. In those days when loneliness envelops you and tears become your solace, Come to me. I understand your suffering, sadness and desolation. You do not need to explain anything, just cry out my name and I will lighten your burdens. I know how much love and attention you have given and how little has been received in return. They lied to you, betrayed you, did not consider your efforts and did not value you. Know that I have seen everything you have been through and I understand you perfectly. I understand what you feel and what you have had to endure to reach this point. I have always been, am and will be with you. But from today onward, your faith is reborn and your eyes open to a new life where you finally feel and believe in my love. This is my promise. Give me your life and your heart and I will be with you to love and heal your pain. I will be your shield in every battle, surround you with my affection and give you unshakable peace to strengthen your soul. If you fall, you will rise. If you become discouraged, I will infuse your spirit with strength. No one and nothing can sow fear in your mind. Let no accusations or lies disturb you. Do not allow ill-intentioned people to see you fall. Trust only in me, for I know your noble heart, and you will see how your enemies flee in terror. You will witness your life filling with peace, wisdom, prosperity, health, and holy joy, thanks to the blessings that come from above, covering you completely. By my side, all your dreams will be possible. You will feel my presence within you, and you will never be the same person again. Everyone around you will notice the joy and peace radiating from your face. Come tomorrow, rise early, pay attention, and very clearly, you will hear my voice, reminding you that I will never fail you, for I love you with all my heart. 
whether you are doing well or facing challenges. I am sending you this message of tranquility because I heard you say today that you needed peace. I am breathing divine strength into your soul and you can feel the serenity filling you at this very moment. Just open your lips in a prayer of gratitude. This is the most beautiful prayer you can offer. Do not feel bad. I hear you perfectly. My response was sent before you even called. But I want you to exercise your faith, not always relying on your strength, even though you are very intelligent. Do not make yourself dependent solely on your prudence. Be wise and humble, for you do not know everything. Dangers and snares lurk in the darkness around you, like a roaring lion in the spiritual world. Pay attention, take it seriously. I hope you understand me well. When you come to listen to me, you will feel my Holy Spirit embracing you, and I will not let you go until I sense your heart calming down. I will not allow you to walk the paths of life filled with fear and despair. I will knock on the door of your soul every morning, for I want you to rise early when everyone in your house is asleep. There, in your room, on your knees, in silence, start your day with active faith. Come with confidence. I am waiting for you with open arms. Leave your thoughts and reflections in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, may love and transformation fill your days.